Hello, welcome to my workshop. So, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and I'm sure that every man is out there trying to find that perfect gift for your wife or girlfriend. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this very simple Valentine's Day gift that's basically a wooden block covered with some nice different things from your dating years. So stick around, I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so before you begin this project, it's probably a really good idea to gather some materials for this project. For this project, you're going to need a three foot piece of 1x4 that you can purchase at your local hardware store. You're going to need a jar of Mod Podge, which you can purchase at your local craft store, as well as a one inch chip brush. You're also just going to need some simple hand tools, such as a pencil, a tape measure, and then a various assortment of clamps. Preferably, you're going to need some 6 inch clamps and some 12 inch clamps. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your 36 inch board. We're going to cut it into four even sections. So essentially, we're going to cut four 9 inch sections. So we mark it at 9, 18, 27, and 36 is already measured. I always like to score another line so I can actually see where I want to cut it. And then I will cut this on my miter saw. After cutting all the boards to 9 inches, I then decided to run them through my table saw to get rid of the rounded over edge left on all the sides of the boards. Now this step is totally optional. You don't have to do this. This will not mess up the final product. Okay, so after cutting these boards, it's time to glue two of them together. We're going to have two blocks when we're all said and done. Now this step is very important. When you look at the wood, you want to look at the grain. You don't want to glue them to where the grain is going out. And what I mean by that is, let's look at a good example. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, these are center points, but they're still good examples. So if we look at this one, we can tell that the grain is more curving this way. So when we join the next board, we want to ideally join it this side so that when expanding and tra contracting happen, the two boards will kind of act as opposing forces, causing them to want a less bow. And as you can tell right there, is what we really want to achieve. You don't want to have your grains doing this, because what will happen is they'll start cupping, and they'll actually pull away from each other. So if you have them together, they're going to be less likely to pull away. Okay, so if you're like me, time is always of the essence. Um, sometimes that time can be very valuable. So while those are drying, take this time to go look through all the different things you might have through your years. And what I mean is, you know, for instance, for me, we, when we started dating, our first date was we went and saw a movie. And so I love to keep things. So this is where keeping things comes in handy. I actually had the ticket. So what I did is made a copy of the ticket from that movie. And then I made copies of different things throughout the years. Uh, this was something when she was sick, and this was something, well, this was our cruise. We went on a cruise for our honeymoon, um, and it has the date when we started, so I thought that would be really cool, a uh, place where we stayed our honeymoon night. And then when we got engaged, we went to a restaurant, and it had all these papers laid out, and you could kind of doodle on them and do all these fun things. Uh, a lot of that's for kids, but hey, we had fun, and we were excited, so we doodled on it. I made a copy of that. We said we were engaged, so... I'm going to take these things and lay these out on that board once they're dry. So what I'm telling you is to do is to go through all your stuff, <coughs> excuse me, and then make copies. I wouldn't use your originals. Um, you might want to use those down the road for something else. So make copies of different things that you might want to put on this board and uh, set them aside while this is still drying. Okay, now that these have been setting up for a little while, I'm just taking them apart. All 
and this would be a good time to go ahead and scrape all the excess glue off and for that I just use kind of an old chisel I have laying around that's not really for chiseling anymore and it works pretty well and you may notice that this glue is not entirely dry on this side Basically glue can cure, the glue I'm using will cure in about 20-30 minutes, and it's been about that long. Just to get us closer to our final goal here. Okay, so now we have two blocks. Now what we're going to want to do is join them Together, just like that. Now this part is really important. You just kind of look over your blocks and uh, depending on what you're going to put on this you want to pick the best looking sides. Now my wife likes country things so things with knots she's really not opposed to. So really what I'm looking for is just tone and uh, for me it's not really going to be a big deal. This kind of looks cool so we'll go in this direction. And as you can see you've got a, you might see it I've got a little bit of a gap so I'm going to square these up on the table saw right before I join them again. nice and square it's time to kind of do some artistic thinking um, what we're going to do I want to pick this side here we're going to want to be left with a heart in the center so my heart is going to be red on here I'm just going to draw kind of a nice idea and I'm going more country you can definitely just do a traditional heart or whatever you want to do so heart I'm going to do some, something like that so the idea now just that is just to give you an idea in your mind where your heart's going to be because the next step is to paint this red and you don't have to paint this entire piece red as long as you get where your heart's going to be that's all you, that really matters okay things have dried pretty pretty well so the next step now is to just to do some creativity line the things you have and try to make it work and what you're going to want to do is have a, a heart left there and you know you could you could go pretty pretty easy with just covering this whole thing you know I could do I could do something like this and then literally cut a perfect circle out I'm gonna try to do it more old looking I'm gonna rip it so let's see what I can come up with So the next step is to take some Mod Podge and use this to adhere all of the paper down to a block of wood. Okay, here we are just trimmed up the edges here with my little small hand planer um, just going at a slight angle to knock off all the edges of the paper that just overlapped so what, what I'm gonna do you could be done right here you could spray this with some spray polyurethane or you could actually just sand it down put more of the Mod Podge over the entire thing you, you could be done right here I'm gonna do a technique that I've already gone over how to distress new wood to look old 
I'm going to do the same technique. The link is in the description for the video. It's also up in the right corner here where you can click and check out how I did that. But to do any of those steps, you want to tape off this front. And just like that, it's all done. So I hope you found this really fun and easy to make. And I hope that you do this for your wife or girlfriend. It's a really easy way to show them that you love them because you handmade something with your own hands. So if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Give me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video and the project. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I also do have a store on Etsy. And I also do have some links in the description to some of the tools I used on my Amazon store. So please be sure to check those out. All of that goes back into this channel to help further my videos and the quality of the content you are watching right now. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.